This is the new Mercedes G-Class. No really. It surely takes some kind of genius to create an all-new car that so slavishly apes the car it's replacing. Ordinarily, we'd heap scorn on this sort of creative and aesthetic bankruptcy, but in this instance Mercedes is off the hook. Because, just like its British equivalent, the Land Rover Defender, the G-Class is one of those vehicles whose appeal and ability is vested in a set of criteria that defies all logic. Its customers love the fact that it looks like a building and has the aerodynamic efficiency to match. This is a car with exposed door hinges, an indicator repeat has borne proudly aloft the front wings. The doors themselves shut with a base thud reminiscent of a Fort Knox bullion vault. Yes, the Mercedes G-Class was originally conceived for the German military, and has been in civilian action since 1979. But against all the odds, 2017 was its best ever sales year 22,000 were sold worldwide all of which makes this new car both an event, and a challenge for its maker. No. Point dwelling on the visuals only a hardcore G-Class geek, and they're out there, could spot the difference, and the signature hinges, indicators, and door shut thump are all preserved. Car designers treasure concepts such as stance, proportion, and volume. Yet the only curves on the G-Class are on its wheels. Amazing to learn, therefore, that only three actual components are carried over the body, chassis, suspension, steering, engines, gearbox and interior are all new. The G-Class is longer and wider, but also 170 kg lighter, mostly steel but with wings, doors and bonnet now made of aluminium. The chassis is still a ladder frame, which is seriously old school as is the preferred way for the committed off-roader and middle. Eastern Sand Dunnist. The body itself has much greater torsional rigidity, which promises a smoother, who knows perhaps even 21st century, grade of on-road driving experience. Three fully locking differentials, front, center and rear, ensure the old car's famed off-road prowess is intact. In fact, its ground clearance, wading ability, and approach, departure and brake cover angles are all better than before, but it gains the pick of Mercedes driver assistance systems, and has a silky inner speed automatic transmission. The reverse parking camera is now waterproof, perfect for post-apocalyptic trips to Waitrose. Say 2018 is this car the future of driving? More than 80% of all wagons made, as it was originally known, are still inactive. Use. I was interested in buying one a few years ago, but even an ancient short wheelbase model with an intergalactic mileage is still pricey. Long-term adherents simply won't recognize the new car's interior, which gets the same TFT screen and infotainment system as other Mercs, and big, comfy seats with massage functionality. Madness. Reassuringly, the first version to arrive in the UK later this year will be the AMG G63 version, whose 5.5-litre, 560bhp twin-turbo V8 gave the old car hysterically overawed performance, with a price to match £140 K+, plus. or a week's wages for a premiership footballer. A diesel will follow, but really, what's the point? In many ways, the G-Class is proudly anti-fashion. But with this 2018 reboot, you might just be looking at the year's coolest new car. Like this, read more than you Mercedes CLS is a spa on wheels how Ferrari remains as far ahead of the curve as ever these are the most GQ cars ever built.